<coughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a, a at least a cool video to me, and hopefully some of you guys out there may find this video helpful or just you know enjoy this type of content. I, I'm you know I like making these types of videos, and hopefully you guys enjoy watching them. So in this video today. We're going to be installing Evolution X 11 on the Pixel 8a. This is going to be quite a lengthy video because there's a lot of things that I want to put into this video for you guys to see. Um, so please watch it all the way through and hit the like button if you guys enjoyed it. But Evolution X is a custom Android ROM. And um, they're probably one of the most customizable ones out there currently available right now. And they just released today july 25th um they just released the android 16 version so it's still in development there's still tons of things that have to be worked out i am fully aware of it uh so just to let you guys know things that i i have ready just in case um so the android flash tool and also the uh, pixel um recovery tool is at my disposal if anything goes wrong i can put this in recovery mode i can you know get it uh, flashed back to stock Android if I need to. Um, but like right now I have Android Studios installing. So then that way I have, you know, the um, the uh, USB drives for the uh, Pixel 8a ready to go. Platform tools is on my PC. Uh, so that's, you know, where I'll be opening the, um, the command terminal to execute um, ADB commands as well as fast boot commands. And um, you guys will see a pop-up right here prerequisites to do on your phone basically getting the uh, oem unlock turned on and usb debugging turned on you need both of those turned on in order for this to connect with platform tools to be able to uh, flash the system images onto the device prepping it for installing the custom rom which will be the last bit of it so i'm gonna be recording uh from this phone here this is the pixel 5a i'm recording on and um yeah so you'll be seeing me talk here um I'll screen grab some things from my PC and overlay it on here as well as uh, pointing the camera uh, where I need to point it at if I have to show you something like using the recovery to flash the actual ROM. So uh, we have the ROM downloading right now. I believe the file size is like two gigs. Uh, let me see right real quick. Yeah, about 2.5 gigs is the file size for it. So that's downloading. Uh, we have several different system images I believe that are all going to have to be installed through ADB. Um, so I will screen grab the directions of how to install it and have it posted on here for you guys. Um, that way you guys can read it. And I'll also link it into the description to Evolution X's website where you can get a lot of the information that you may need. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of excited to try out Android 16 Evolution X and see what types of customizations it has, how the user interface looks. I'll be able to tell you guys in this video if it's using Material 3 Expressive or if it's not using that just yet. All that will be in today's video. Uh, so yeah, keep it locked here. But right now, while waiting for things to download, um, I'm going to go grab me a drink. You guys should too. Get your favorite snack or whatever. And yeah, let's uh, get this bad boy flashed on. All right, so now that we got all the necessary files basically downloaded, um, all the prerequisite things that we need installed and uh, placed, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna transfer all the downloaded files into the platform tools. So majority of this segment coming up is just gonna be on the PC so you guys can see how that works out. And then, um, yeah, then we'll get into flashing the ROM. So we're taking a look at the website here. This is Evolution X's website. And you can find the list of your devices on the website. But once you do, uh, you'll find the necessary files that you need. And it'll show you the different builds that it has for that specific device. So we're going to be installing Android 16, which just released today from Evolution X. And so you'll click how to install. That way you know which files you need to download. As there are a few files within its repository that you can download but there are only specific ones that you need to install this custom ROM on there. Um, if you're looking to enable root, then you will follow the guide for enabling root in the custom ROM. But if you just want the ROM itself and you're not concerned about root, then you don't have to worry about uh, the root part of all of this. You can still install the custom ROM without root. Um, so these are all the necessary files, the necessary steps. Follow them in order that you see them. 
including the command prompts, which are there for you. So you really don't need to type this out when you're using terminal. You can just copy paste the commands accordingly, but make sure you go in order. Do not skip a step. Do not make any like jumps because that could mess it all up. So what we're going to do at this point is, um, my keys out the way, but we're going to plug in the uh, Pixel 8a with the cable to our PC. Also, make sure that you uh, turn this on for USB debugging, always allow. So after typing in ADB reboot bootloader, your screen on your Pixel 8a should look like this. If you're here, you're good. And you'll see the status says locked, but then you'll see unlockable next to it. That lets you know that the bootloader can be unlocked. So then back to the PC we go so you can see how to unlock the bootloader. But just remember, when you unlock the bootloader, it's going to wipe your device. So you would have to go back in and basically turn on USB debugging and um, then continue on. So back to the PC we go. Sorry, I have to clip this part in here. Um, before unlocking the bootloader to save you a lot of headaches, um, go into the settings in your device and remove all Google accounts. And the reason why I say this is because sometimes when you unlock the bootloader, like I said, it's going to wipe the phone completely when you do this. It could also trip the FRP. And if you I mean, if you know your Google account logins, you should be fine. But, you know, just to save headaches, remove Google account before you unlock the bootloader. It's going to wipe the phone and that will lessen the chances of it tripping the FRP lock. Um, yeah, anyways, let's go. So now we're going to begin unlocking the bootloader. Um, so with your device connected to your PC, uh, USB debugging on, OEM unlock toggled on in the uh, settings on your device. Uh, from here, you will go ahead and type in um, ADB reboot bootloader. And this is going to shut off your phone. Your phone will power off. It will uh, boot back on and it will boot into the bootloader as you know, you just saw in the previous clip about it being, um, being able to be unlocked. So once that happens and it's rebooted, the command's going to change here. So you're going to use fast boot instead of ADB. So the command to unlock the bootloader is fast boot space um, flashing unlock so that's what you're going to type in and that should unlock the bootloader now if it gives you any error and it tells you that it was not able to do it then a different command you can use is fast boot space oem space unlock and one of those two will be the one to unlock it it's weird but it does it that way for some reason all right from here you'll see that and it says do not unlock the bootloader what you want to do is hit the uh, volume down to where it says unlock bootloader like that. Sorry, my camera's shaky. And then hit the uh, power button. That's going to completely wipe the phone. So now you see the status is unlocked. So back to the PC we go. Well, before we get to the PC, like I said, everything is, is wiped. So you're going to be back where you have to set up everything on your device. Just skip through everything. You don't have to like log into your Google account or nothing like that. Um, just skip through it. And you should be good to go. All right. So from this point, you're literally going to start flashing in the system images uh, in, in the bootloader. So um, the command will change to fast boot. So that's what you're going to use. And you're going to do fast boot devices just to make sure that you have a secured connection uh, to proceed forward. Now, I did type in some incorrect commands here that will show you guys that if you misspell a command or if you type it in incorrectly, um, it's not really gonna brick your device because it'll just tell you that you're not able to execute the command. So first you'll do is you'll flash the boot image. Um, you'll get that flashed in there and you'll proceed. In the installation guide on Evolution X's website, it will show you the order to flash each of the system image files. So follow it in that order and that way that you get it pretty much flashed in correctly. Now, this step is pretty much the same for the Pixel 7a, the 6a, and all the other Pixel devices that Evolution X supports. But the custom ROMs are different 
and the boot images are different. So don't use the same ones for different phones. Use the ones accordingly to the phone you are flashing. And you will get those on the website. They have them laid out pretty much for you. Um, once you're done flashing all of the necessary files onto your device, you will then at that point just you know do the command to have it uh, basically reboot into recovery because that is going to be the next step here so once you have flashed all these i'm on the third one i believe and i have one more to install um but then once you get that pretty much installed you would just type in fast boot reboot recovery and it's going to boot into recovery for you all right so from this point you're going to be in recovery uh, once you're here, you're going to want to do the factory wipe reset. Um, that's going to wipe out all the data. And then from there, you'll go back to terminal and you'll ADB sideload the custom ROM. So, um, yeah, from this point, let's see if I can do this one-handed. But you'll use the volume rockers to scroll. Hit factory reset. Format data, factory reset. Um, hit format and let it do its thing and then you'll go back and from here we're going to uh adb sideload so we'll go back to the pc for the final commands so now we're back to the pc one more thing you got to do on the recovery in your phone is where it says um uh, uh, sideload adb you're going to tap on that in recovery to initiate the bridge between your device and the terminal and then you will finish your last steps here, which is just basically, I like to always do this every time, type in uh, ADB space devices just to make sure it's reading your device. And then you would type in the last command, which is ADB sideload, and then whatever you renamed the ROM zip file as. Name it something kind of short so it's easy for you to type. Um, I did it this way, so that way when I save this ROM file in my external hard drive, it's not confused with the other ones for the different devices. But the magic of editing, we zip by. It literally took about 30 minutes to flash. Just about. Um, but the power of editing allows me to just jump straight to the end. So once you see this at the bottom, it pretty much is done. All right. So everything's pretty much done, flashed, installed. Um, so at this point right now, so you guys can see. Uh, we're still in recovery, so what I'm going to do at this point is hit Reboot System Now. And I'm going to disconnect it from the USB cable. You guys can see the reflection, the terminal, and all the commands. Um, so this is the initial boot. Let me get it out of the reflection. And so now you see that. And you see the Evolution X boot up animation. So this is just installing uh, the custom ROM. Uh, there'll be a video where I basically go through the entire ROM because what I need to do right now is set everything up, make sure everything is working. If there's a hiccup or anything like that, then I need to go back in and do a wipe, reflash the ROM and see if that fixes it. So I'm going to be doing that right now just in case there's issues. But uh, check out the next video. I'll link it in the description. And that'll take you guys to the overall um, first impressions of Evolution X11. So thanks for checking out this quick video. Smash the like button if it was uh, helpful. Any questions, drop them in the comment. And oh, we booted up. Drop it in the comment. And I would love to answer your questions and help you guys out if you guys want to try Evolution X11. Law.